What's good, everybody? It is Super Triple JT here, and we got some new screenshots for the Resident Evil 2 remake. They're all leaked, but you know, whatever. You could tell this is like from the actual game. So let's get into this shit. And first, we got Ada Wong without her glasses, and I really, really enjoy this. Finally, I didn't like the glasses. I didn't like her costume in general. I didn't like the trench coat or anything because that was from the concept art, and I didn't like it. But now we can actually see like how she was actually going to look in the game. And I, I like how they made her look different, but she still looks the same at the same time. We Everybody knew this was Ada Wong instantly. So I'm glad they actually changed it and looks the same at the same time. So they did a really good job on that. And, you know, I'm really excited for this because Ada's my favorite female character. So we have to see how she'll be portrayed in this. So we just wait for later. And then, then we got the next screenshot, which is freaking... The tyrant or Mr. X, whatever how you want to call it. Uh, but he's wearing the trench coat again, like always. And then, but he has the fedora this time. And we all knew he had the fedora, but he has the fedora this time. And this is actually from the concept art for Resident Evil 2. Also, that he did have a fedora on, and now they're adding it in the game. And it actually looks, it actually looks well, and it doesn't look freaking, um, freaking odd. There we go. It looks actually kind of creepy still. So I'm glad they still kept it that way. Then in the next screenshot, we actually could tell that we're going to play more as Sherry in this game, which is really exciting because we just played a little bit of her in the original game. Now we're going to play more as Sherry, so it's kind of good that we're going to see we're going to see more of her story and they're going to if they're going to build more upon it. So I'm really excited for that too. After that, this this is a screenshot from the trailer, but we actually see more of his face, Mr. X's face without the fedora. It actually looks excellent. I'm actually excited for this. Cool. It looks badass because now you can see more detail on his face and it looks creepy as shit. <laughs> All right, next we're going to see Ada Wong again, but we're going to see the entire um her entire outfit. And you could tell from here that she, you could tell that she's a spy and all this crap because of the freaking walkie talkie and shit. And it looks great also because now you actually see that it's kind of the same dress as the original, if you think about it a little bit. It looks different, obviously, but it's still kind of the same dress that she wore in Resident Evil 2. Or you could say Resident Evil 4, where she had the alternative costume of the same dress. Alright. For a while, I didn't know what the hell this is. And I still don't know, but. I'm thinking about it, and this could actually be the alligator that they fight in the sewer, which I am not excited for because the alligator, okay, the alligator wasn't creepy in the original game. It was just kind of, it wasn't difficult either. It was just like you got to know what to do instantly when you fight the alligator. So, but it looks like this is going to be like a full-on boss fight, not like the original game. It's going to be like more, it's going to be more like Dark Side Chronicles kind of if you think about it, but you can see here that yeah this could be the alligator but it's gonna be more mutated not just a giant alligator anymore it's gonna be a mutated alligator but i could be wrong this could be something else if anything this could be a fucking new enemy if anything but i'm probably right about this and this is probably like the alligator a more mutated alligator all right all right this one is from the trailer yeah we all know this this is when leon and ada meet actually if you think about it, this is the garage and this is how they get to the prison cell underground so i didn't know what the screenshot was at first but now i know this is when leon gets shot later on in the middle of the game technically this is when leon gets shot and i'm glad they actually like not made it exaggerated when he got shot he's only got shot but he's like a little bandaged up like he was like it looked kind of exaggerated in the original game so i'm just saying all right here we got a picture of kendo's from kendo's gun shop and let me tell you why i'm confused with this because let me show you and yes claire's gonna find mr x like he did in the original but that's not the point i'm trying to i'm that's not the point i'm trying to see why the hell is leon meeting him Okay, because in the original game, the the story was Claire A and Leon B. But it looks like we're following Leon A story also. So it's probably going to be like Dark Side Chronicles kind of. As in, we're probably going to go, we're going to experience like a mixture of stories or a combination of stories or something like that. Because Leon, Leon never met Kendall in the original game. Obviously, if you play Leon A, he does. But in the actual canon story, it's Lee, it's Claire A, Leon B, and Leon didn't go through that route. So I'm probably thinking, like I said, they're mixing up stories, and maybe maybe Leon goes to the police station through the front, and Claire goes through the other route, or something like that. But I don't know 
what they're doing. Obviously, this is this is obviously the police station, and all, but I don't know what is so important about this until you realize something. This could be I'm I could be wrong about this by any means. Tell me in the comments down below what this room is. But I don't I don't think it's Iron's office. I don't think so. But I don't know. Maybe that gameplay I didn't really see the office that well during the new one, new gameplay. But I don't think this is Chief Iron's office. And this probably is Albert Wesker's desk. And I, I'm not 100% sure, but it could be. But, you know, anything could happen at this point, you know. And then the last part is going we're going to see Ada. We're going to we're going to obviously going to play as Ada again, but I think she's going to have a bigger role than she did in the original games. I'm obviously excited for it, and I want to see what are they going to do with this um with this route story, but I don't know what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments down below. Do you guys are you guys excited for the Resident Evil 2 remake? You know your boy's been excited since 2015 when they announced this shit. So I think that will be everything. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I am out. Deuces.